Thank you, Dr. Vasudev, for having accepted to talk to me. Uh, how do you feel being one of the leading robotic surgeons in England? Uh, you have had a long journey from open to laparoscopy. You did a fellowship and now you are doing robotics. Can you punctuate that as a surgeon, how the robotics have made a difference in the outcomes of the patient care or patients you manage? So uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. Bhandari, for, for, for collaborating and making us a part of the Varikuri Institution. And the entire aim of robotic surgery is patient-centered. And like you rightly mentioned, transiting from open to laparoscopic to robotic surgery now, I think the ultimate benefit that we are seeing is patient outcome. So be it oncological or perioperative, patients are going home much earlier than we ever expected. Blood loss, post-operative complications have dropped right down. And now with data, which, is, which you've been present at the Eris meeting in Bilbao in Spain, the, the, out, the, the, the outlook, the outcomes there, that the oncological follow-up and long-term data coming out is better than, than open surgery, if not equally comparable. So in my opinion, uh, talking from the UK perspective, they, they are, there's a lot of drive towards doing more robotic surgery, especially uh, prostatectomy, cystectomy, and partial nephrectomies. And I, I'm a firm believer, and based on the fact of the data presented at the meeting and after speaking with world leaders like yourself, that it is just a question of time before open surgery diminishes with the background of robotic surgery taking over. Just now we have jointly witnessed Dr. Alava doing a live renal transplant surgery of a recipient. We at the foundation are very excited to work on this project because it's a historical moment that uh, how that's how the trans-global collaboration should work. Uh, I think if I look back, uh, our team worked with so many partners at Ohio State University, at uh, Henry Ford Hospital, Vatikuti Urology Institute, at Medanta Vatikuti Institute, and at the IKRDC, uh, Ahmedabad. What do you think the outcome? Does it make a sense? Was it worth the effort the foundation had put in? Because why I ask you this question is because we were told that it is nonsense to think of cutting and putting a kidney inside and rather than and then using a robot rather than doing a straight open recipient surgery. What do you feel about it? So first of all, Dr. Vinodi, I, I don't do transplant. I did when I was a resident in Newcastle in, in the UK. But looking at technology and what Dr. Alavid has just demonstrated, I think it is pushing the boundaries. And having seen the case with the degree of time he's taking to do the anastomosis, certainly he's one of the world leaders in experience. So from the technical point of view, I have no shadow of doubt that if patients are having less post-operative complications, the anastomosis is as good, if not better, than open surgery. This is, again, the way forward. Coming to your second question, was a collaboration worth it? Was it, was it worthwhile putting an idea forward? And, I, and that's what I enjoy being a part of the Varikadi Foundation with you and with the other partners, is that we push the boundaries and we prove that patients benefit. And I think we see this with renal transplant and hopefully with further collaborations between us in the robotic prostatectomy, cystectomy, intracorporeal reconstruction, and partial nephrectomy cohort, that we will be able to enhance and develop more and more newer techniques which will benefit our patients once again. And I, I'm, I, can, I can see us, you know, our Buddy Goody Foundation centers working together and putting a newer, newer concept out in the next couple of months with with not only to do with renal transplant, but also from the oncological point. We at the foundation are very, very excited and happy to have collaborated with you. You had an uh, opportunity to witness the proceedings of the Vatikuri Global Robotics Conference, which did give a transaction of robotic activity across India. You have seen our Vatikuri collaborative quality initiative of the database. You know our partner center. Is there any critique or could you add or heighten our thought process by telling us something more we should be doing? 
So we, we've only recently joined from the Lister Hospital in Stevenage, which is a cancer centre just north of London. And we have uh, additional robotic surgeons who work, Jim Atzett, Tim Lane and myself. And we all feel that it's important to amalgamate data together and keep it flooding in. But maybe, not as a critique, but more as a comment, maybe we should do a sub-analysis, you know, probably twice a year just to see what the data is indicating. As again, it's waiting for the data to mature before we have a change of practice or a new development out there. In your talk that you gave, which I thoroughly enjoyed yesterday, what I liked about the fact was when you spoke about systematic analysis, you highlighted that there's a lag between what data is out there by the time it takes two years to get the analysis done and the message which comes out at the end of a systematic analysis is slightly, there's a lag, there's a period of delay. And by that time, developments have taken place, especially in the robotic urology world. So I, I feel that with the amount of positive data being amalgamated in a very, very fruitful manner, maybe we should sub-analyze certain questions which, which come up. You know, the role of intracorporeal reconstruction. In the UK right now, robotic cystectomy is being looked at very closely, whether it's a viable option to, to keep going, especially in the National Health Service. And I feel that with data which is there, which is transparent and strong from the Buddy Goody Foundation and all the partners, we should probably use that data to support and push the need for doing robotics as against questions arising which, which do come up often from the cost point of view. You rightly said, and exactly that's what we are doing. Our uh, home team does an analysis of data and we give uh, not the details to the partner members, but we do give them a feel of what we have. Because that's very essential for them to think of new questions they want to answer. But Equity Foundation is really committed to change the landscape of uh, data-based uh, evidence which uh, medicine has. We are going in for big data, we are going in for automation of the data process. This is because uh, we have the advantage of working with the top IT giants, our parent organization, which funds the Equity Foundation. And we are looking for uh, some new ways. And as I said in my talk yesterday, the dream is that why not produce an evidence which is reliable, high-level evidence at the point of care when you see the patient moment to moment a real-time evidence which would take into account the expert opinions and all sources of database because I of late am a great believer of unstructured data which finds no value in the current practice of evidence-based medicine. Sure. That, that's a very valid point Dr. Bandari because you know I know how difficult it was and how supportive you were for us at the Lister Hospital to become a part of the Buddy Goody family because of your selection process to take high volume centers which have gone beyond their point of a learning curve and are producing and doing more cases. And I feel that that is the reason why our data is stronger as against in introducing centers which, which are not doing as much and they are still on their learning curves which is quite common as we've seen in the meeting today that lots of centers are still just starting off doing techniques which we've been doing for a few years. And I completely agree with you that it is, um, there is a need to. Thank you, Nickel, and we look forward to leverage your strengths back home because, as you know, our major mission is to really uh, make uh, robotic surgery available to the poorest of poor in the country. Maybe currently it sounds like a utopian dream, but competition peeping in the wings, I'm sure, the cost factor would no more be an issue 